stoke of moon and unfarige, chart untochto. Pan farige on loiter, Augustin and Chev Vert Dorer. Augustagish og being on a vascot and varige, Augustahik to a maschin a hogod. The deliveries were certainly going to the islands longer than I'm alive because I do remember John telling me that story about his uncle Jack telling him to wrap these parcels really carefully because they were going to the islands. They had a long journey. These ones need to be extra carefully packed. It's very important to support the islands because they deserve a service one and a half times more than everybody else. I don't know times when the boats couldn't go to the islands. So they, they lived in difficult situations. Um, my name is Kitty O'Driscoll with Catherine O'Driscoll. They call me Kitty. Would you believe I, 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 I never learned to swim as an I'm an island woman? <laughs> you call up in the morning, or, or you could call about nine o'clock, I suppose. The bus meets every ferry, and they bring the boxes, they bring them in, and they put them up on the day. <laughs> it is all right for people with cars, and they can go and get it, but for Someone like me now that can. I'd be lost without them. The community here and her neighbours are incredible. Like to be able to order her shopping and get it delivered to her door without having to ask a neighbour is a great sense of independence, you know. I think you feel getting on the boat that you get away. People feel they really have left the world behind. When um, Keelan here had the chicken pox, she was four years old, and I needed seven up uh, bread soda for bread soda baths. And when I was ringing in, the lady was saying, oh my God, you're in trouble. And I was saying, yeah, we have chicken pox here. And I was like, oh, can we go to the pharmacy and get you anything? Which really is a lifeline when you've got a sick child on the island, it was brilliant. My name is Martin O'Meloj. I've lived here for 22 years. I'm Banastor of Corcom and Clareto, which is the Island Development Cooperative. I have a couple of boxes there now for them to go up to the Kalashta itself, and another few boxes then going to Ireland Agraina. That's one of the houses where we keep students for the Kalashta, Sarah. Kunastashiv. Hey, great. Hi, Lorna. Kunastashiv. A couple of buskin, Shulish. Agustakhan <laughs> Maybe within two years, John Fields will be delivering to us by drones. <laughs> we'll be paying in Bitcoin and Ether. You know, I think not having Fields services out to an island would be instantly looked upon as degrading of the quality of life. It's just people would move. People There's would no move. You know, there, there is there is a would have to move. have to. I noticed this around West Cork. Everyone waves. There's a there's the car wave. There's the the finger up and off you go. And and I think Fields John Field has that in his, and I think that's why he delivers out to the islands and it's, it's that sense of shared responsibility that we all have a certain amount of, of responsibility to each other. You get what you give in life, that makes you part of a community and as long as we keep loving what we're doing, I think people will love coming into us. So that's what makes us different and that's what makes us special, I hope. <laughs>